ahoy mateys come on a pirate adventure to explore comparing fractions and decimals when we compare values we want to know which one is larger or smaller let's start with comparing decimals when comparing decimals rewrite the numbers so that they each have the same number of digits after the decimal point remember Placing zeros to the right of the last digit on the right of the decimal point does not change its value. Compare each digit in each place value, beginning with the left. If two digits are the same, continue to the next place value to compare. Let's check these numbers out. Since the second number has two place values after the decimal, let's insert a zero to make the first number have two place values after the decimal as well. There. Now, let's look at the biggest place value the ones place. They both have a four, which is the same, so let's move to the decimal. The first number has 30 hundredths, and the second has three hundredths. 30 is bigger than three, so that means four and three tenths is greater than four and three hundredths. Next, let's compare fractions. If both denominators are the same, compare the numerators. If the denominators are not the same, make equivalent fractions in order to create common denominators and then compare numerators. We need common denominators, so let's think. The least common multiple of 2 and 7 is 14. For the first fraction, since 2 times 7 is 14, we need to calculate 1 times 7. We get 7. And for the second fraction, since 7 times 2 is 14, we need to calculate 6 times 2, which is 12. So 6 sevenths is equal to 12 fourteenths. Now we can compare 7 fourteenths with 12 fourteenths. Since 7 is less than 12, 1 half is less than 6 sevenths. Now you're ready to compare fractions and decimals. To do that, you want to first convert all of the numbers to either fractions or decimals, and then compare. For instance, take this list. Let's turn all the fractions into decimals. One half is equal to five tenths. Three fourths is equal to 75 hundredths. Now let's order them. Each of our numbers have zero holes, so let's look at the tenths place. 25 hundredths has the smallest number of tenths, so it would go first, followed by the three tenths, then the one half, and then three fourths. Let's try one last problem. We want to see which of these comparisons is true. Let's turn all the fractions into decimals. Now let's see. 1 and 6 tenths is greater than 1 and 25 hundredths. 5 tenths is greater than 16 hundredths. 3 and 45 hundredths is greater than 3 and 4 tenths. But 9 and 1 tenth equals 9 and 1 tenth. So that must be our answer. Congratulations, you found the buried treasure. You're now ready to try some problems of your own.